Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and we are starting off a new season of Ranked. So generally at the beginning of the season I like to try to rank up to Gold or Platinum, just so when we play Ranked videos with kind of more brews, the competition's a little bit better than at the Silver level. Um, so one of the decks I want to try out this season, uh, we played a lot of Elementals last season, I've really liked the Bant lists. Uh, Currently, so this is a Bant mid-range or Bant ramp deck. Um, so it's looking to abuse early ramp creatures in Line of War Elf, Leafkin Druid, Paradise Druid to get out a Nisa early. That'll generate you a bunch of mana, and you can finish things off with either a Finale of Glory or a Hydrate Crisis uh, for big, big amounts of mana. Um, just kind of give you card advantage as well through that. Uh, Risen Reef, which is just a stellar card in this format right now, is also included in the deck. Uh, and then we have, by going Bant as opposed to Simic, you get to play Teferi Time Raveler, which just shuts off a lot of decks. Um, we are going Tryhard mode for ranked, so got to play as some Teferis. Um, we have Prison Realm as removal as well, and in a way Voracious Hydra serves as creature removal. Uh, I'm still iffy on Voracious Hydra, a lot of the list did have it. Um, I may just opt to drop this in lieu of Mass Manipulation, I think that card's a lot more impactful uh, since it can steal Planeswalkers as well. Uh, mana base is pretty standard, you got a bunch of duels, some scry lands, and then the sideboard, uh, Baffling End versus a lot of the aggro decks, it exiles which is nice as well. Aether Gust as always against red-green matchups, Negate. I don't know why they have Negate here, Dovin's Veto is strictly better. So I got this list off like an MTGO 5.0 and I've just been tweaking it slightly here and there based on preference. Um, like they had just four temples, I think just having the check lines at times so you hit the curve, I don't want too many coming to play top lines. Uh, WD Attention is against Scape Shift, it's good to hit like Wilderness Reclamation as well. Uh, one settle, I like it against like the Nisa decks or stuff where they kind of overcommit vampires, stuff of that nature. Um, Shifting Ceratops versus blue base decks, Fairy decks, Esper. Cleansing Nova is just a catch all board wipe. And in the fringe case, we need to hit artifacts and enchantments. And then two mass manipulations in the sideboard. So I've played four games with the deck so far. Um, I think I only won most of them. Uh, so I save and exit. Um, yeah, I won a couple. We were playing uh, a couple other decks trying to rank up, but just it wasn't as effective. So we'll take it through some best of three ranked, see how it goes. Um, before we get started, did want to make an announcement in terms of giveaways. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, we gave away a Liliana Dreadhorde General to one of the subscribers on the channel. I'm looking to do another giveaway as well, so we're closing in on 800 subs. Um, so the goal is, once we hit 800 subs, I will do a giveaway of some uh, of the Japanese alternate art Sahilis. Uh, so I have a couple of them, uh, we'll give away at least one, maybe two. Um, so if you've already subscribed to the channel, you are already included in the giveaway. Uh, if you haven't, there, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, it doesn't cost you anything and then we randomly select like all our draws and we'll mail that out. So the Liliana just arrived to Joycenator today or yesterday, he posted on Instagram so you can catch that as well. Um, we continue to do giveaways all the time for our subs on the channel. Um, so as new sets come out new things like that, we give away some sweet cards. So we can get started and we'll play some ranked games. With standard the way it is right now, let me know too if there's any sweet brews. I've been trying to like really dig like on Instagram. I usually post one to two deck lists uh, a day, uh, like just cool brews kind of off the beaten track, and it's gotten a little harder to find unique lists. Uh, we'll mulligan this. Whew. So we have two chances. We have the draw and we have the scry. I think we keep this. Put away a finale. Okay, so we hit that. Just want to hit lands here. All 
right, so a, the opponent is on a brew. So what do you do? Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery that targets it, if you control... Okay, so this might be, is it wizards? So I'm going to go with the Paradise Druid because of the Hexproof. Yeah, so it's, is it wizards? No blocks here. So I think we want to preserve our life total. Next turn we can deal with the Adelies with Voracious Hydra. Hopefully if they do have like burn spells they just point it to their creatures. Uh, no blocks. We do run the risk of just like dying if they have cast a bunch of spells. Oh, does that just kill us? That's sweet. <laughs> Alright, so wasn't expecting that. Uh, so baffling end in, settle in. Deputy in and Aether Gust coming out. It's very still good because shuts it off. I honestly don't think we want the Voracious. Or we could get rid of the Druids. Play more react like responsive cards. Finales seem slow here, and that's just expensive. I'd rather play a Ceratops, I think, than the Voracious Hydra. Yeah, let's run it like that. So we weren't expecting the Uncaged Fury double strike approach. I'll keep this. We have two early removal spells. We can baffling in next turn, whatever creature they play. Hmm. To target creature you control, that creature gains trample to the end of turn. Okay, so they can't actually activate that without a creature in play. It's a weird card. Um, I'm not going... Mm, I'm not going to attack here. Okay, so we can go Nisa, untap a land, play Paradise, attack, play Paradise Druid. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, we got more blue. If they attack me so we can protect it with the Paradise Druid and just Prison Realm. It's funny how like some of these games you play these really like good tier decks 
but then you play against some random like brew that's off meta I'm fine with them wasting that here I'm just gonna prison realm this anyways uh, Aether Gust is good too So we're gonna do this first, yeah. They see the writing on the walls. Uh, think we just run it back. Yeah. They're gonna have a hard time out racing like a big, like an early Nisa. And these deck, this deck's like a worse feather I find. With, I played a lot of wizards before. Like I kept trying to make it a good deck. But the creatures are more fragile. You don't have as good protection spells. And like where feather they just get like... Uh, Legionnaire just gets bigger. And like Arcanist you can recycle. Like we haven't seen Arcanist in this one. This one looks like more all in. This is like their build is more Kiln Fiend-esque. Like if you've seen the modern deck where you go all in on Kiln Fiend. Like some games you just win because the opponent, like game one we didn't win because we didn't interact. Keep this. It does hurt to shock, but I think we just do this. Take him off Electromancer. And then that way next turn we can Teferi bounce their flyer. Oh, that's really good. They don't have another spell here. Um, let's just go to Fairy here. This also turns off like the shenanigans of like pump spells. Back up to Fairy. So if we have a land, we can play Nisa. If not, we just play Risen Reef. I think I'm okay at the land here. Just get rid of that. Um, because we have a fifth land coming. If they want to block the land war elf, I'm cool doing this because I want to get rid of the flyer so we can bounce something with Teferi. See if they have a spell here, they don't. And just play this in case they have a hasty ground creature. So here, oh, plus Nisa, do the glacial. They want to double block, I'm cool. Uh, I think 
we just do this. Keeping this up as a blocker is probably more useful. That's good to catch another if they have a flyer. It does work pretty good in this deck. like this they can't pump anyways if they have like a shock or something yeah they might have forgot Teferi's uh, static ability so we rank up here silver one run it back for another one because we're at, like it just reset, we're at silver, so we're gonna run into some of these more non-tiered lists. Uh, we can keep this. I'm gonna lead on elf on one. I always lose to vampires. It's just one of those random decks I can, I always just get run over by. No blocks here. Gonna go re Risen Reef on two. Okay. So if we hit a land here, ah, oh, we don't. I'm just going to say we can drop Nisa next turn. Um, no blocks here. So here I'm going to... I don't think I want to take the damage. So, bounce champion. We'll kill Soren. And then just set up the scry for next turn. Ah. Uh, Finale's not bad. Next turn we're gonna double Leafkin or Nisa and Leafkin. So we're probably okay there. That doubles a lot of mana, creates a lot of blockers for us. So I think we try it out. They're gonna send one of these into Teferi. They went wide. Do have only one forest, which is a little awkward. Hopefully hit a land here. Ew. I don't want line of war elf. <sighs> so we're probably dead. They take six off champion of dusk, draw six.
So next turn we can have Don't think they kill her. So realistically, it's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's so not quite enough. Three, five, six. That takes her to five. I think we just block like that. I want him to kind of spend the life. Uh, that does get bigger now. Okay, so that does double some mana there, which is nice. So, let's see how we do this. So that's nine, 10, 11, 12, so x equals 10. This might win us the game here. Yep. Cool to fairy because you can do that at instant speed too, but you don't get the untap shenanigans, Anissa. Uh, in this matchup, settles good, Nova's good, baffling ends. Uh, probably deputies is just more removal. Uh, the druids probably. T uh, maybe keep the druids. Uh, to fairies. Okay. I go down voracious here. Honestly, probably just go down risen reef. It's not much value on that. Like turn three, they're a very aggressive deck. This lets us catch up at least to fairies, at least a tempo play and a redraw. Oh, I'm glad we bet vampires. It's one of those stupid decks. Keep this hand. Turn two to fairy for bouncing whatever they have. To fairy is really just like a tempo play. They're gonna kill it anyways. Oh, that's. That was actually good for them. Uh, the one good thing is here we get to At least send that back. This gives us the land for Nisa, which is nice. Uh, just take it. Ooh, baffling ends also nice. Uh, here, because we only have the one forest. I might just do a setup turn here. It's 
It's a little awkward. We only have one green source from Lions. Uh, finale. So we can go like this. Or we can shock ourselves. So if we go like this, that untaps, we can have access to two from that, three, four. It's not that big. Nisa does block well. We can hydrate Krasis for five. Uh, I think we can protect Nisa here. Uh, we do. Uh, I screwed that up. I forgot we only had one green source. Uh, that was two points unnecessarily. So if we untap this, that's two mana, three, four. If they want to multi block, they can. So they can hit Nisa for five. I'm gonna just take the damage there. Okay, so. Ooh, Deputy's gonna be nice to get rid of those. Um, here. So, two mana, untap it, two mana, that's four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, x equals ten. Same way we won last game. Got him! This deck's awesome. Nisa's such a broken card. Did we rank up? Oh, we're one off. <laughs> it's annoying. Now watch, I'm gonna just keep losing. Um, so I think we'll wrap it up there. Just a quick video on the deck. Um, I want to get up to a little bit higher so the competition of decks are playing is a little bit better. Uh, as I mentioned, we are doing the giveaway for the Japanese alternate art Sahili. So if you do sub, uh, you will be entered in that draw. Uh, if you're already subbed, thanks for the continued support. Don't worry, you're already included. Um, and check out my article. It'll be up tomorrow on Aether Hub detailing part two of all our uh, rotation proof decks that we've been working on the channel. Thanks for watching and have a great one.